and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you should be doing with your coins in Madden right now. Now, what's this video going to consist of? Kind of where you want your coin stack to be. Kind of what will be coming out soon that you're going to want coins for. How much you're going to need. And how you should intend to get it and or save it and what you don't really need. Now, before I get to this video, guys, I got the water. You guys have been telling me I need to drink a lot more water during videos because apparently I sound dry, which is a very weird thing that you guys say. But... There we go. We should be good now. Maybe my throat won't be so dry today. I don't know, guys. I record for you very early in the morning. I can't help it if my throat's dry. I'm recording at like 6.30 in the morning right now. That's when I wake up to start this stuff. But, okay. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Come join the family, boys. Let's get to 12K as quickly as possible. Everyone watching, hit the sub button. You won't regret it. Boy, and comment down below what, you're, what coin stack do you think we should go into the Harvest promo with? And what you plan to do with it. I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do with it and how you should bring the coin stack in, but we'll go into all that as we get into the video. And if you haven't already, give the video a big thumbs up. You guys have been killing it. You guys killed the like button on the gameplay. You guys killed the like button on the video just today. I'm gonna have to give you guys some more gameplay soon for that. Thank you guys so much for that. But if we could so kindly kill this one too. Oh, I see you guys coming out of the caves and those dark places when I ask for the like, so make sure to always do it. It helps me out tremendously. Now guys, let's get into the video. So, first things first. It is November 7th, 2019. You know what that means? The harvest promo. We should at least get a reveal type in about seven days. Give or take, right? Because in the most feared promo, we got a reveal around the 13th, 14th. I think. Wait. Yeah, we got a reveal promo around the 14th, 13th, 15th, around that area. So, Thanksgiving promo should follow a similar trend, especially with Thanksgiving being a little earlier than Halloween by a date ratio, you know what I'm saying? So, if we're going to get the reveal in about seven days, I wouldn't, don't go all in with your coins right now, because you guys only have, just wait a week. All you need to do is wait a week and be patient. So I only have 800k right now. I think, me personally, I have to get that up more, because with 800k is not going to get the job done for what I want to do. Now, for the consensus, right? So let's look at the, look what the cards are looking like. See all these cards right here that you guys want? When the Thanksgiving promo comes out, they will be even cheaper. So do not fret, do not worry that, you know, you, you should be buying these cards. Don't worry, they will get cheaper, you can afford them. A lot of these LTDs will come down because new things will come out. So, like, if there's a new LTD tight end or a new LTD, like if there's a Barry Sanders, a lot of these running backs will come down. They're already on the come down. Gronk's running 600K. Pepper's 900. The real limited time, Joe Thomas is there. A lot of things are coming down as it is. So, do not worry. Just wait. Build your coin stack. I'm telling you, the days before a promo are the days where you get rid of some players and you build your coin stack. Because I'm telling you, if they drop up a new Ray Lewis, I'm not a new Ray Lewis, a new Lawrence Taylor, a new Barry Sanders, or a Danian Tomlinson, a Patrick Holmes, they're going to overtake the market. Trust me, they're going to be like 93 overall, 94 overall. They're going to overtake the market. You're going to be upset that you didn't be ready for them. So personally, what I'm doing for this promo is I'm not buying a quarterback until this promo drops. I'm rocking with my Lamar still and my Michael Vick, and I'm rocking with them until this promo drops. I need to see what they're going to give me. Because quite, quite, quite frankly, I think that they will be giving me some kind of banger quarterback like a Patrick Mahomes. So, I'd definitely be saving at least like three to 400k for a quarterback. I think they're going to drop some fire Pat Mahomes with all above all threshold passing with an escape artist. That's what I think. I think that might happen. And if that does happen, well, get hyped. So, the average user is going to want to do the master set, right? You know what the master set is? You come over to sets. The October set, which would be, let's say, the Masters, Peyton or Ray Lewis. Most people want to do at least one of them. Now, with the Thanksgiving promo, I don't typically remember if we get more than one. I know we do. We usually get two. We get a defensive and an offensive. So last year, we got Lawrence Taylor and Walter Payton, I believe, right? If I'm, my memory stands correct. Now, this year, could they just do one Master with a few LTDs? No, in them, maybe. Now, I think the master might be Lawrence Taylor or something in that range again. Or at least we'll see a Lawrence Taylor, but he might be living the time. Hopefully not. But to do one of these sets, typically, most most of the players usually cost around 300k. So let's say it's a set of... Let's say the set requires three players again for Thanksgiving. It'll cost you about 900k to do. And you could always sell the master back. And you could sell them back for usually like 600k, 500k, depending on the master. And in that case, then it will cost you probably around like... 
So it always costs about three to 400K to get all those Nat cards. So if you want the master, we go quick sell the Nats. You're gonna get at least 900K in my opinion. So to do consistently do those sets with some coins left over. So you're gonna want about 900K. So now to get 900K, like I said, the market may be crashed, but I don't think it's going to get any better. So if you have things to sell, you know, you can just rock with it. I don't think like you have to wait for things to come back up because I don't think things will come back up. I think we're at a point in the year where things are just always going to keep coming down. Like that's it. So like if you want to sell, like let's say a quarterback, I think we're getting a new quarterback. Now don't go sell your power to a quarterback, right? But Lamar's empowered up for me. So it's perfect. He doesn't have a power up. He's like the perfect guy to sell. I could refund his abilities, ship him right off to the auction block. Like I never had him and he's done. That's it. Done on my team. That's not a bad thing for me at all. So I'm saving that now. Half back, obviously I have Barkley, but if there's a Barry, Barkley will get the boot. Barkley will only get the boot to back up running back, which on my team. And in this year's Madden, back up running back has a lot of run. And uh, yeah, so I think that I don't think there's many positions that I can anticipate that we're gonna get, but I know that I feel like quarterback we can account for. There's usually one, right? We just got paid to Manning, but then there's gonna be one more modern player, I'd imagine. For Thanksgiving and years past, we got an RG3. I think we'll get some kind of cool quarterback. So like I said, recommended coin stack to get a set done, 900K. Recommended coin stack just to go into the promo if you just want to go in and you don't have any sets to do. I think 500K is a fair price because you have to imagine they will give us solo challenges, right? That will give us collectibles, or turkey day collectibles, they'll give us turkey day solos, maybe even a NAT card, and then we can maybe anticipate a house rules NAT card. So realistically, if they do the same thing as October, we could get two NAT cards that you could put into the set and then we could maybe get even the master set for really really cheap but that's if they follow the same trend which they kind of have they've kind of followed the same trend of every big promo or every promo this year they kind of give us one nat card from the promo and then the bigger promo which was october they gave us two nat cards so if they follow that trend they're making it very simple to be able to enjoy a promo without having a coins right because in years past i don't know if you guys remember this is one thing madden does a lot better than it used to do back in like madden 13 and madden 14 25 whatever if you didn't have if you didn't buy packs you couldn't you couldn't play the game and you guys can say what you want i played back then the solo challenges were all full games there was no journeys there was no three minutes old every game was a full game at the end of that full games you got like a thousand coins i used to play a hundred full games just to get like my first 100k like i used to play a week straight just to get a 25k player like trust me it was there was a run you guys don't even know if you guys didn't play that long but back then there was no nat cards and a promo was literally like all collectibles back then and the collectibles are strictly from packs so if you didn't open packs you were, you were screwed like there was no there was no enjoying this there was no enjoying the promo I, I used to always watch and wish i could enjoy the promo madden used to be it's always been pay to play but specifically in the in, in the recent years at least they gave no money people a chance which i know you guys don't like the fact that i say no money because you guys are like maybe you shouldn't have to say that about a game but it's the fact that a no money spent team like even me i have not went on a pack opening since the first four days of the game and I have a 91 overall team. It's just once I go, once I get a once you get a coin stack rolling in this game, you can really just keep taking advantage of it and keep gaining coins. It's, it's not impossible to do. Trust me. Look at all these cards I have. It's not it's not the hardest thing to do. But guys, overall, the best advice I can give you to wrap everything up is that this promo starts in seven days. Don't be hasty. Don't go blowing your coin stack on the first card you see this week, the first LTD you see this week. Just wait. Let the promo come rolling. And when the promo does drop, don't buy everything right away. That's the best thing I can say to you guys. When the Halloween promo first dropped, a lot of those cards were going for like 380. Ray Lewis was going for like 500k. You gave it like three days max. All those cards are going for 250. Ray Lewis is going for like 340. Trust me, just wait. Always give it a day or so. Watch some YouTube. Make sure you get the right prices. See what Hubert Hubert people got to say. And then you can rock with what you need to rock with. But I'm telling you, do not be hasty into this because we have seven days. Just wait. Build your coin stack up. And again, if you want to build your coin stack up, if you haven't leveled up already, I promise you, I leveled up. I went from 600k to like 1.3 million coins. Just go level up. Get your power passes. You grind. This is the week of grinding. Go grind. In the meantime, when we're in Madden Limbo, get your coins up. Play a little weekend league. Play a little solo battles. Get as many coins as you can. And when you feel satisfied and you're hit, hit, go hit level 60 or whatever we can hit. Level 70, 60, I don't even know where we're at right now. Once you're at level 60, literally, you're going to have so many coins. If you haven't already, at least past level 50. If you're at the beginning, go get that done. Once you get that all done, you're going to have so many coins and you can really enjoy the Thanksgiving promo, I promise you. And then if you make enough coins off the Thanksgiving promo by watching me, of course, make sure to subscribe, comment down below. Make sure to like the video, boys, because if you do all those things and you stay around, I'll be here in about a month or two to help you guys grind through all of this, get all your coins, and be up to date with everything. So make sure you make sure you stick around, boys. But that is about it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, make sure to subscribe, come join the family. If you stay around, you'll be around for all the great tips all the great content and you're gonna make sure to keep growing with everyone so that's about it
thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Uh, make sure to smash the like button. You guys have been killing it with that. But thank you. Keep enjoying the content. I hopefully can get three more videos out for you guys today. Well, three, two more, including this one, which is the third. And if there's some morning content, which today is Thursday. I can't remember if there's anything on Thursdays. Although there should be, right? Who knows? All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.